Hey guys, it's Tilly and it's been like two or three weeks since I last uploaded a video. But I kind of do have my excuses for this one because I have been so busy these last few weeks and there is so much I have to tell you guys. Now they're all kind of like amazing things so I don't really know where to start so I'll just go for the cutest one first. This is Terry. This is a little kitten that I recently adopted and her name is spelled as T-E-R-R-I -R with just one eye because little Terry here unfortunately had to get her eye removed when she was found by the rescue organization but now she's been living with me for maybe about a week and she's settled in and she's friends with all the other cats and dogs and she's adorable and cute and you guys will see loads more of her. Um, I'm gonna let her run around. Being the wonderful animal mother that I am, I created an Instagram account for her, so if you guys wanna go and follow Terry the Pirate Cat, please do. I don't know how often I'll be posting on her account because we all know that I'm very unpredictable when it comes to social media. Secondly, for the most exciting part, I got to host all the literary panels for Supernova in Perth. For those of you who don't know what Supernova is, it is like Comic Con where you have all these amazing like actors and authors and comic book creators all come to one place where there's stalls and things to buy and people dress up in cosplay and it's just really, really fun and amazing. And I was lucky enough to be a part of that and like the whole thing was just such an amazing experience that I am so grateful for. So not only did I get to meet a bunch of fantastic authors but I also got to be part of this huge production where I got to speak into a microphone and stand on stage and have like lights and everything like that and I got to meet a bunch of amazing people and do some great things and it was just absolutely amazing. So I want to quickly go through the books that I bought or I got signed and talk a bit about the authors and what I actually did and it was just it was just so great. So I did six panels from Friday to Sunday. The first one was a Friday night sleepover book club which was really fun. I got to meet all the authors and have them all on a panel and ask them questions as well. The authors that we had at Supernova we had Cat Sparks who is the author of Lotus Blue. Alan Baxter, who's the author of Bound and Obsidian. Brandon Sanderson, who is the author of multiple different series, but the ones that I have is the first book in The Way of Kings and the first book in The Final Empire, which is the Mistborn series. There's also Julia Marillia, but I don't have any of her books yet, and she was only there for a panel on the Sunday. Then we have the absolutely adorable, one of my all-time favourite authors, Lynette Noni, who wrote The Medoran Chronicles. So you have Akane, you've got Raelia, and you've got Dracora. And lastly, from the author section, we had James Dashner, who is the author of the Maze Runner series, who was just, like, amazing. So on the Saturday I did a panel with Brandon Sanderson on his own. Everyone in the audience absolutely loved Brandon Sanderson. I pretty much just had to ask him a few questions and then spent like 40-50 minutes just on them asking him questions and even then I didn't get through them all but after listening to him speak about his books I really do need to get around to reading them. Then later on in the day we had Pushing the Boundaries of YA with James Dashnar, Lynette Noni and Juliet Marillia and I think when we were talking during that panel we kind of decided that we were going to change the name to Breaking the Boundaries of YA because we find that there are a few restrictions put on YA by certain negative people but there shouldn't be restrictions on who can read or young adult books because they're just amazing. And then on a Sunday we had Fantastic Beasts and How to Write Them. That was with Brandon Sanderson, Cat Sparks and Alan Baxter. And I really enjoyed listening to that and how all of them create their own monsters and the way that they write them and the process of which they do them. It was really interesting to see. And then for my last literary panel of the day we had a one-on-one -on -one with James Dashner who is obviously the author of Maze Runner. And that one was probably my all-time favourite panel. Just I think I fell a little bit in love with James Dashner. He's such a humble and nice guy and he's just an amazing person. And then the last panel that I did was actually a comic book panel where I got to interview three different comics that come from very different backgrounds. One of them was Craig Phillips. He does a lot of illustrations for books with like Bloomsbury and Simon Schuster and everything like that. This is the first book that he's written though. It's called Giants, Trolls, Witches, Beasts, Ten Tales from the Deep Dark Woods. And the art in it is absolutely fantastic. So if you guys see this, definitely pick it up. Then there's also Dean Raykine who has done comics for The Simpsons and Futurama. He was really funny and I actually really enjoyed talking to him as well. And the last person was Wolfgang Bilsma who is the co-founder of the Gestalt uh, comics. He also is the co-writer of Cleverman. And so of course like I went and had to go and buy a few comics from him as well including ones by Justin Randall and Tom Taylor who I got signed by because they were there as well. It was amazing. It was just a really really fun time. I did do some recording and vlogging at Supernova but my SD card decided it doesn't want half of the footage to actually work. So here is a cluster of the video that does want to go onto my computer that you guys can see. I got my lanyard with my name on it and I met the other MCs for Supernova and it's been really exciting so far and yeah I'm gonna get sent to eat now and then do my first panel which is a Supernova book club so I'll see you guys there. So I just finished doing a panel with Alan Baxter, Cat Patrick and Brandon Sanderson which was really really fun and now I'm gonna go walk out to the main exhibition floor and get some cash out and go and buy some books and get them signed because why not? And later on today I'm doing my last panel which is an interview with James Dasher and that is on the Maze Runner which I'm really excited for because James Dasher turned out to be even better than I could have hoped. 
So let's get going. Time lapse time. <laughs> I've already been pretty busy, but there's still one more thing that has kept me very, very occupied in these last few weeks, and it's probably one of my most exciting things that I'm doing because I've been wanting to do something for quite a while, and when this idea popped into my mind, it's something that I really enjoy and hope you guys will enjoy as well. I have posted about this a little bit on my Twitter and on my Instagram, and at Supernova, I kind of half launched this idea to people in the crowd and the authors as well, and to people at Supernova because I just went really, really crazy. But I, Tilly from Tilly and Her Books, am going to be opening an online store for book-themed bath bombs. That's right, you heard it here first. Maybe not first, but you heard it here. I absolutely love baths, and I absolutely love reading, and so I thought, why not combine the two and create book-themed bath bombs? And to start off, I'm doing six bath bombs. Um, five of them are themed around Harry Potter and the Hogwarts houses, and a Dementor one as well. And then there's also going to be a personalized one by me. So I want to quickly show you guys what they all look like, because I've got them out in front of me. First of all, we have the Ravenclaw bath bomb. Then we have the Slytherin one. This is my own Hogwarts house. Then we've got Hufflepuff. And then we have the Gryffindor one, which smells amazing. And as for our last Harry Potter themed one, it looks a little discolored, but this is the Dementor one. It kind of has a green tinge to it, but when you put it in the bath, it turns black and it has like the grey bubbles on the top. And I actually really, really love this one, especially because with the scent that I've put in this, it works with aromatherapy, so it helps you to unwind. So it's kind of like when a Dementor is sucking the life out of you and you guys just really need to pick me up, this is the bath to go to. I don't actually have the Tilly in her books one made because I used it last night because my self-control is at zero, but it will be on the website, which is not currently up and running just yet. It'll be up and running in about two weeks, time but I will do another video when it is up and running so you guys can check it out then and hopefully buy some bath bombs and enjoy them. But I might be a little biased in saying that they all smell so great and I'm actually really proud of them and it took a long time to figure out what mixes to do and how to make them work best but I finally did it and I just, I just, I'm so excited. I just really love bath and I really love books. So yeah, there you guys have all my news from the last few weeks. I have been super busy, but I've also been really, really happy with how things are going and it's just really, really great. Hopefully I won't take another three weeks to make another video and I'll be back to seeing you guys soon. And until then, I hope you guys have a lovely bookish day and that great things happen to you. 